Welcome back everyone. I anticipate this video to be quite fast. I am going to attempt the Colosseum round 67. I have not tried this yet. I've tried it without my updated Lady Luck setup. Which is now this. I now have my Kyrie, a Gilted Riku, a Gilted B, and a Gilted B. So let's, uh, I did try it with my other setup, and the boss, the boss has like 8 HP bars. So I'm thinking that this isn't a fight that you need to do quickly, even though I'm going to try to do that right now. When this ultimately fails, we'll try to do a longer setup with some defense boosts and healing. Look at that, 8 HP bars. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much I can do with a full rotation of... Like Okay, so that took off two bars of its eight HP bars for eleven gauges. I'm just gonna hop right out of there. Okay, so we're gonna go with the other strategy, which is Single target status effects, a healer, and defense boosts. So we're gonna go mini. Aerith. And we're gonna get Diz. <clears throat> then we're going to go Mulan. I don't even know. Um, I guess Master Form? No. Um, him. So we got three defense boosts, a healer, a paralyzer, and a single target. I'm going to use no gauges at all. Except for healing. And let's see how long I can last. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Just bear with me real quick, guys. I'll skip ahead on this on the video.
Anyway. Oh good, I can actually... I actually wanted to make a video on trying to solo a high 20s raid boss. Let's give it a shot! Where is it? Two guilted attack boost, two clouds coming your way, guard armor. Just want to make sure I get one stun, even though that's massive overkill. I actually might not be able to do this. I might be able to squeeze it out. Oh! Oh no! I meant to do that with the cloud, but the other cloud, but I think that's still alright. <laughs> Too many clouds. So that was fun. Okay. Let's go back into this. Alright, so we're playing the long game here. No gauges, except for mini. Yeah, get paralyzed. Yeah! Watch I win. Watch me not win. <laughs> it's actually working pretty effectively, the Paralyze. Is there a way to get rid of that? Do I gotta use a Pluto? Oh, okay, it goes away. 
Yo, this is working. Oh, this might kill me with the defense down. Crap, I really don't want to heal. Nice. You know, this is kind of what I wanted the fighting to be when I first started playing the game. It could be because I spent a lot of money up front. But I was, like, first turning, like, every fight for the first, like, week or two I was playing. <laughs> I turn those off when I record. Ooh, I gotta heal. I'm almost back up to 15. All right. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Except when that happens. It's almost half dead. You probably should have healed. Ooh. Nice. This is literally the first time I've ever had a fight like this in this game. And I like it. Like, if I had another Paralyzer asleep on my Sora, this would actually be going even better. Alright, I gotta heal. And we still got about six heals left in us. Oh... Watch I die on, on the other two fights. If I beat this. Which I'm still not optimistic about. This, this could go sour at any point. Like there? Oh. <clears throat> this is just riveting gameplay, isn't it? With the paralyzed, look at this. I wonder if they gain a resistance to it. Doesn't appear to be. We've, when we're on like turn thirty. Uh, no heal. And I die from it. Okay, so <laughs> that was awesome. I will keep attempting to do something along those lines. I need some type of status effect on this guy. Uh, poison. Sleep. Another paralyze. Any status effect on him. And I think we got this. The three defense boosts for triggering almost every attack. The paralyze was 
off the charts good. There's one thing I've learned with, from these higher tier, like low 60s, mid 60s. It's just waiting until you get around that paralyze procs often to win. It's not very skill based, I, have, I must admit. So that was really fun. Stay tuned, guys. I will keep trying to do that uh, until it works. Thanks for watching.